five point contact trick. Biatches. Cha. Shabam. Sad wand. Happy wand. I'm a 12 year old. What up, Flow fam? Welcome back to my channel. Today is Levy Wand Wednesday, so that means we are doing a five minute tutorial on my favorite trick, the five point contact move. Mm. All right, so before we start things off, the top of my wand is red and the bottom of my wand is blue. This is gonna help you be able to tell which end is up as I'm going through these tricks. And if you haven't already, go ahead and subscribe to my channel, give it a like, leave me a comment, and don't forget to hit that notification bell. That way you get notified when I post new content. And of course we have the wizards of the channel. And the wizards of the channel are flow toys, astral hoops, and matrix fire safety. Thanks guys! And if you also want to support my channel, you got two options. You can head on over to my Patreon or on over to my website, luxluminous.com. I got awesome leggings and all kinds of fun stuff, and all the money raised goes directly into funding this channel so I can bring more content to you. All right, so let's go ahead and show you what this combo looks like, because I know you're eager for it. Yeah! Uh, uh-huh, 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 uh-huh. All right, so let's break down this bad boy. So for the first part of the trick, we are gonna do a halo roll. And if you don't know what a halo roll is, I go more in depth in this video right here. And of course, I'm gonna link it down below as well if it doesn't pop up up there. But we're gonna go over it quickly right now. All right, so we're gonna start off with the levy wand in our dominant hand. So our ball handle is in our hand that is holding the wand. We're gonna hold it about, you know, somewhere in between the middle of the wand and the bottom of the wand, so about here. And then what we're gonna do is we're gonna do a halo. So we are going to place the levy wand on this kind of like meaty part of your neck here. Oh uh, yeah, oh that actually feels really good. Uh. So what you're gonna do is you're just gonna launch it over your head and just let it fall off. So like this, bam. So what's happening here is that your wand is creating this V pattern around your head. So it's kind of doing one of these bad boys. All right, so we're gonna launch it over and just gonna let it fall right off. So after you've gotten the first part of the trick down with the halo and it just like falling off of your body, now what you're gonna do is you're going to use your left armpit as a leverage so that way you leverage the wand down. So when the wand is going in between your legs, it is gonna be the top of the wand. So make sure you're watching the red as this is going. So it's gonna go over, down, in between your legs. So from the side, down, and in between your legs. So you're gonna use the inside of your thigh, like this, this section right here, the sweet, sweet spot, yeah. I'm wearing velvet leggings today, this feels great. <laughs> So now that you have the top of the wand in between your legs, you're gonna pull up on the wand on this side of your leg. So you're gonna use that leg to pull the wand up, and as it pulls up, it's gonna do a half rotation up, and you're gonna get your elbow in there into a perch. And if you need more information on perches, you can go ahead and click on this little button right here for more perches. And of course, it'll be linked down below. And from here, now that you have it in a perch, you can just let it go back into wand mode. Oh, son, left your wands are cool. Ooh, 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 ooh. Now we're gonna piece all those things together and it should look like this. So halo into the armpit, down in between your legs, using this leg to pull it back up. So back up, boom, get that elbow in there immediately. You gotta go shoop, shoop, shoop. That's, that's the noise my elbow makes. Pew. So a little bonus trick here. If you know Dalton, oh, wand hubby. He likes to do this trick a little differently, but he calls it the around the world, but it's just five points of contact just continuously. So this is what that looks like. So what you're gonna do is you're gonna do the same, same thing, but instead of ending it in a perch, you're just gonna continue. So when you get to about, this point is where it gets different. So you're gonna use your armpit to bring the levy wand up back into a halo and it's gonna come back down. 
and then it's just the same. You just keep doing the same thing that I already showed you and just around your head Aww. continuously until you don't want to do it anymore. And then you can like finish it in a perch or whatever, whatever, whatever floats your boat. And of course, I want to see how you're doing on this trick. So definitely post it up on Instagram. Don't forget to tag me and I might end up sharing it on my stories. Hmm. It's always cool getting to see people actually do the trick that you're teaching. Love it. I love it, love it, love it. And of course, if you have any questions about it at all, leave it in the comments below and I will definitely help you out because that is what I'm here for. I help people. That's what I do. Lux Luminous helps people. If you are new or lurking here, welcome to the wand life. Make sure that you subscribe, like, comment, and don't forget to hit that notification bell so you can get more of more. Man, I'm so glad I didn't have to rage throw off this flower. It definitely moved around a lot, so you probably saw it change in the editing. <laughs> all right, well, see you all on the wand side.